Hi, Jack Hackett here with another Friday Thought from the world of solo consulting. Has the start of your working year been? Um, mine already feels way too busy, um, so it came on with a vengeance. And I just thought I'd share with you some of the things that I like to do at the start of a new year to kind of keep me on track and help me get through it all, really. So I like to start the new year clean you know, and tidy. So there's a couple of things I try and do, um, you know, in early January every year to kind of get me on that track. The first thing is tidy my office. I hate working in an untidy office and it does get like that sometimes. And especially towards the end of the year, you know, it all feels a bit messy and um, you've accumulated so much stuff. Um, so I always love to do a spring clean and I don't know if there's any evidence or science behind it, but I just reckon working in a clean and tidy office makes me much more productive. The second thing I like to do is tidy up and spring clean my electronic files. I don't know about you, but over the year, you, you just seem to create so many new files, folders, etc. And it eventually gets, you know, really hard to work around. So... I also try and really clean up that system, get everything archived that I need to, delete lots of things that I no longer need, um, and just kind of, you know, it feels much more productive to work when your filing, your electronic filing system is in good order. I have to confess that I've only got halfway through that job so far, so, um, you know, I'm hoping to get it all done, but we'll see about that. So... I like to start tidy and, you know, feel like things are in order. But the other thing I really like to do is plan some breaks. You know, for all of us, I suppose, going back to work is always mixed. You know, for me, I, you know, there's part of me that loves getting stuck right back in. But there's also part of me that still wants to be on the couch, reading my book or traveling somewhere, you know, interesting and far away. So I think it's really important to plan breaks. Now, I've, I've written and talked about this quite a bit because um, in my experience talking to a lot of uh, other solo consultants, um, planning breaks is something they tend not to do. Um, you know, there's a kind of fear of um, missing out on work or being unavailable and that sort of strive to always be available for your clients. And I think it's a real mistake not to look after your, your well-being and plan some holidays. So I always think it's great to start the beginning of the year knowing that I have at least one break ahead planned. So um, my next break is actually quite soon as it happens. It's in March and I'm going to go to Sri Lanka for a family holiday to catch up with my sons and their partners. So that's going to be really great. Um, what's your uh, break that you've got planned? And if you haven't got one planned, might this be you know, a good prompt for you to consider doing that to really look after your well-being as the working world of consulting gets just so busy? Um, I hope you have a great Friday and I'll speak to you again next week.